how big would that be? Um, how how big of a, um, a, a and it would be more of looking at it from a growth thing. How 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 much of an advantage would it be for this group, this young core, to experience what a seven game series, even if it's five six games, what that would feel like uh, against the Miami Heat? That's a huge boost in terms of morale and experience going into next season. Uh, you know, you've got to say, hey, we tasted a playoff series. We're a playoff team. We've made it to the first round. Let's assume that the Heat beat them in a seven-game series. So what? You've gotten that playoff experience. And the natural progression, ideally, is you go from the first round one year. Next year, you win a series. The year after that, you get to the conference finals. You know, sometimes it speeds up. Sometimes you hit a speed bump. But that's the way if you're a young team like this and you're the Cavaliers and you're president of basketball operations, Kobe Altman, that's how you want this thing to work. You want to take the small steps. And if you can take that first step this year because you're right there, almost able, you know, if you win this game Friday night, you're, you're in. And you've taken that first step. If you lose the game Friday night, look, it's not a huge deal you probably would have been the sixth seed had you been able to stay healthy all year so you can use that to build confidence but playing in a series against the team that went to the finals two years ago in the miami heat uh that that's a, that's just a huge uh confidence boost going into the next year and it's great experience uh for for a young team that's you know still developing and still growing when it comes to their star play. The other thing that you always hear is um, like guys playing in the NBA playoffs for the first time. It, it, you, and you and I have covered this for so long. They talk about how the experience of their first playoff series motivates them to work harder because they, they, they want to experience that again. And I, that's the reason I think it's huge that they get that, that playoff experience. Yeah, when you're in the playoffs, you know, uh, there, for one, there's the experience, but for two, uh, you know, you kind of get more notoriety, you get uh, more respect, and uh, you, you just kind of get that feeling of it, it really is. There's a reason they call the playoffs the second season because it's a different, a little bit different style of basketball. You're talking about, you know, it's more physical, uh, it, it, it's a little bit more, uh, obviously, more intense. The rotations are shorter. There's usually seven, eight guys playing a night. Uh, there's just more at stake. So um, I, I just think that it's obviously a bigger stage and a bigger deal makes it more enjoyable. And it does make guys work harder because they don't, they, especially guys like the Cavs, like Darius Garland or Jared Allen, uh, you know, or, or Markinen or some of these others, they have missed the playoffs. So they know what that feels like. But once you get there, yeah, you don't want to go back to missing it again because getting there is so cool. And it really makes you feel like as an athlete, obviously you want to win a championship every year. It makes you feel like you're that much closer and that you're that much better of a player and getting that much more respect.